Four days back, the United States said that it will free up only half of the $7 billion in frozen Afghan central bank assets on the U.S. soil. The half of this amount will help Afghans struggling with a humanitarian crisis. Biden's plan calls for other half of the funds to remain in the United States. It will be subject to ongoing litigation by the U.S. victims of terrorism. This is including relatives of those who died in the September 11th hijacking attacks in 2001. The move drew an angry response from the Taliban regime. The group has branded the seizure a theft and a sign of U.S. moral decay. The Taliban have rejected Biden's action, calling it violation of the rights of all the Afghans. A statement from the Taliban read, and I'm quoting here, if the United States does not deviate from its position and it continues its provocation actions, the Islamic Emirate will also be forced to reconsider its policy towards the country. The Taliban also added that the 9-11 attacks had nothing to do with the Afghans. The people of Afghanistan share the pain of the American people, share the pain of the families and loved ones uh, uh, of those who died, who lost their lives in uh, the tragedy of September 11, that we commiserate with them, and that the Afghan people are as much victims as those families uh, who lost their loved ones are. Uh, in that withholding money or seizing money from the people of Afghanistan in that name is, uh, is unjust and unfair and an atrocity against the Afghan people. This money does not belong to any government. This is the property uh, of the Afghan people and the Afghan people are the rightful owners of this property. I request uh, President Joe Biden uh, to reconsider his decision and to uh, return the totality of Afghan uh, assets reserves back to the people of Afghanistan.